you can see. You now, quite a lot of time we talked about it talks about the solid slab where you have your beam, your drop beam, sometimes you have your inverted beam, and sometimes you can even draw your internal beam, very minimum, that we have 150, you can see. But in this situation here, we're talking about the flat slab. You know, sometimes we have designs like this, but, you know, I just decided to do a video concerning the finished work and the outwork, you can see. In so flat slab, what you do is to increase the thickness. You increase the thickness, but I guess the minimum for that should be 10 inches but i see a lot of people do eight inches but i advise anybody to go on that you should go with 10 inches 10 inches and in flat slab you're trying to reinforce your bar because design must go on you go to run your analysis run your design is going to give you what you ought to have but in this when you go to the site according to the design specification you're going to reinforce it top and bottom it's normally reinforced top and bottom so after reinforcing top and bottom we ought to have an internal beam running at the necessary area where we ought to have our beam. And the beam is run traversely. When I mean traversely, you know, number one, we have a standing beam, just like the in inverted beam. You can see there's a standing beam. But if you don't stand it vertically like this, we try to make it horizontally. You can see there's the horizontal version of it, you know, taking the same shape with a well. Uh, well analyzed reinforcement and your stirrups pay attention to your stirrups because you know the function of a stirrups like we all know as an engineer that it helps to to resist shearing in a beam so we ought to add them where necessary according to the design design specification don't just do it out of your design content don't just do it out of what you know you understand so in doing that separating all the bars top and bottom you can see the, yeah, there is need for it for we to add our horse bench. Horse bench, which is just a split, just a splitter. I'm just going to split the top bar from the bottom bar so that they will not collide, so that they will be uniform, you know. Load all the hobby moments and the sag moment to be taken care of, you know, and the punching check. You have to split them. So it's nice we do that. So you can see. Just want to show us the, the flat slab for today. You see? So after this, we'll go on the design to show you the design, how it's hot to be on the design. But take note that this is just the outer look of the of the of the presentation on site. From your form work, you can see the biscuits they use in raising it, you know. But when you're doing design, you don't have to see all of this. But as a practical and as a site person, you have to understand that this is how it ought to be you can see sometimes you can also go by supporting it at the edge you can have your upstanding beam your inverted beam and do your inverted beam or your drop down beam as the case may be your drop down beam as the case may be so that will be that for today